Disney Plus has finally arrived. But is it worth your time? But more importantly, is it worth your money? We'll find out right after the cheesy intro rolls! <laughs> So, I didn't have Disney Plus since the day it came out, November 12th. And I must say, I'm impressed with it. A whole bunch of things I like, some things I don't. But I'm going to break it down for you. Simple and easy. Why? Because I don't want you to waste your money. Okay, so we're talking $6.99, basically $7. Let's just call it what it is, to have access to everything Disney. Look at that Disney castle in all its glory. Whoa! Yes, we have made it, y'all. I'm not going to lie to you all. I didn't have any issues getting in to watch anything I wanted to watch. Oh, the lady in the tramp kind of looks cute. But back to it. I was able to get in any issues that anybody had. I'm pretty sure by the time this video goes up, they're all going to be gone. So I decided I'd do you all a little favor and slide into a couple of the menus for you so you could just see, you know, just see what's going on. First, Pixar. Because everybody loves Pixar. Why wouldn't you want to watch Cars or Toy Story, or Finding Door. Oh, I loved Finding Door, but I also loved Finding Nemo too. Loved Finding Nemo. A Bug's Life, oh yeah. That Lava, gotta watch that. That was actually pretty good. Slide over to the next tab, that Marvel tab, which you've been waiting for. Captain uh, Marvel, which I actually watched last night, which was not bad. Like everybody said, the worst Iron Man movie, Iron Man 3, because they disrespected my man Ben Kingsley, so I won't even get into that because I'm still kind of salty about that. Spider-Man, the 90s Spider-Man, and the 90s X-Men. Slide over to that Star Wars tab. Won't be spending a lot of time in here either because Star Wars has become a joke. But I will be watching The Mandalorian. Watch that. I will be watching Clone Wars and Star Wars Rebels, the animated series. Because, ooh, yes. Revenge of the Sith. I oh, love that fight that was in there. The Phantom Menace. We won't talk about that. <laughs> Jar Jar Binks, but we're going to leave that out. Slide over to Nat Geo. And for sure, I'm going to be watching that uh, Gordon Ramsay show. And the world, according to Jeff Goldblum, that thing is not bad, you all. Which, that kind of leads me to another issue that I'm going to talk about afterwards or later on in the video. But then I decided, you guys want to know who I am. So I'm going to slide over to my watch list so you guys can see what I'm all about. See what kind of movies I'm into. You know, I give, give you a show something to watch. Iron Will, look at Kazam, Goofy Movie, Cool Runnings, the best movie, Heavyweights, Brink, uh, Sister Act, Sister Act 2. Now, this next issue I'm going to show you uh, right here with Wrinkle in Time, there's the message that you get. Due to existing agreements, some movies won't be available to da-da-da date. Now, I have ran across that in a Wrinkle in Time and Maleficent. So I'm 100% sure if there is a Disney movie that you're watching on another streaming service, it has an agreement that's not going to be up till 2020. So with that being said, I still think it's worth it. So you may want to give it out a try and see what happens. Like this is really going to be short because I know there's a tons of people talking about Disney Plus who's going to go in far more detail than I am. I'm just here to give you the neat, greedy, is it worth your $7? And is it worth your $7? Yes, by all means, take it. Is it stuff that's going to last you for a year? I don't think, I think you can really breeze through all the content on Disney Plus right now in a year. I definitely think that. The content on there, series, movies, originals. Now, the originals don't really have too much with them, but I'm not going to knock it right there. The vault has been open, so there's a lot of movies on there that you'll like. You'll have to search through it a lot, but I think it's actually not that bad. The series, Darkwing Duck, Gargoyles, DuckTales, Tailspin, you don't need nothing else. In fact, my favorite, so weird. Yep, so weird. Thank you, Jesus. There is actually another flaw that I hate, and DC Universe does the same thing. So for new original content, they put out one episode at a time. It is the dumbest thing ever. Netflix, please do not ever do that. Now... The other side of it, I know why they do it, because people get the free trial under different usernames, and they'll just keep back watching the show. So I get why they do it. It's just so dumb. But all in all, 
I think I went on, I pre-ordered Disney Plus, so for me, it was 75 bucks for a year. It's still worth it. I still think it's worth it. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. I think it's definitely worth your time and your money, especially if you're a Disney fan, hands down, it's all you. Done deal. I'm only here for heavyweights and so weird. Yeah, so <laughs> go ahead, give it a try. Let me know what you think. And remember, if you can't be good, be good at it. Thank you.